This is how your physical state and your environment can change the way that you feel in terms of stress and anxiety. If I'm here on the bike, I'm really ripping. I get my heart rate up, I get my breath rate up. I'm in a very highly aroused state physically. I come over here, I get back to nasal breathing instantly, right? Get in the sauna, it's 195 degrees. I hop in the sauna, I can pour some water on here. That's going to make it feel even hotter, right? I get up here and if I'm trying to breathe through my nose to keep my nervous system under control so that I'm recovering very, very quickly, this hot air is going to make that very difficult because the hot air is going to be irritating my nasal passages and my lungs because it's so hot. If I don't want that irritation to be there, I have to slow my breathing down so that the air can cool off as it makes its way through the passages. That makes you feel very anxious because your body is still responding to the stimulus of the work. And now you get in here and it's hot. It's a different stimulus that is external and it's making your body have to look for and shift and search for different resources. The same thing happens when we're dealing with people. If we're dealing with people that make us anxious, whether it's because they are in a position of power or we're intimidated by them, or it's a big group of people and we're just talking in front of them. These same changes are going to be happening in our bodies. And so if we want to take control of our bodies in those situations and leverage the changes that happen, those stress responses that will actually help us to rise to the occasion of that stressful situation, what we need to do is learn to keep our nervous systems under control to keep them on point for the scenario and for that situation. That is why it's so important for us to work on things like breath work in the gym, in these more sterile environments where we can experiment so that we have the fortitude, we have the physical and mental resources accumulated so that when we go out into those situations, out into the real world, into the wild, we can respond in a way that allows us to leverage everything that is happening inside of us, whether it feels anxious or stressful, we can use that as a tool for success. We can use that to achieve the goals that we have and improve the way that we interact with the people around us whether they are on the other team or it's the people that we love and care about the most.